Three months ago, the 1st Air Cavalry Division shipped out from Charleston, South Carolina. Young men trained in a new concept of war. Proud, sure of themselves, but still to be tested in battle. They were destined for the high country of central Vietnam. Last week, some of them came home. Their lives were the price of victory in the Battle of Yadrang Valley. CBS News correspondent Morley Safer was there. This is where it all began, the Special Forces Camp at Play May. On the night of October 19th at 11 p.m., the first mortar rounds fell. What kind of fighters are the Viet Cong that you met here? I would give anything to have two, uh, 200 of them under my command. They're the finest soldiers I've ever seen. It was clear that the enemy had been hurt badly, but we had paid dearly. It was almost like looking at old newsreels of Korea and the Pacific War. The same young old faces, the same shattered landscape, the same agony. It was pretty bad. We kind of walked right into an ambush. And uh, we hit the, hit the ground. Try to look around for trees. There's elephant grass out there about three foot high. And to look over that, uh, snappers could pick you up real easily and let you have it. Does it uh, frighten you now to think about it? Yes, it does. Yeah, it was, it was pretty bad to listen to your friends crying out for help, not being able to do a thing. We just couldn't do anything. We were all pinned down. The Secretary of the Army has asked me to express his deep regret that your husband, Jack E. Gell, died in Vietnam on 14 November 1965. He told me, he said, honey, we've already heard them say that they will bury us and if they take over one little country at a time, before you know it, all the little countries will be taken over. And eventually we would be left alone and we couldn't take them. And he said, I'd rather go now than have to wait until 20 years and have my son go, because it might be too late in 20 years. Ready? Aim. Push. Aim. hours and weeks and months. The longest period of our marriage has been in Columbus, so I will stay here. 